Okay, so now we're at the last part, which is using the galvanometer as an ohmmeter. So it's a little bit different than the previous parts. In the previous parts, as the deflection went up, the current or the voltage increased proportionally. Now we're working backwards. Uh, that um, The resistance will uh, increase with the inverse of current. And so it, it's going to work a little bit different differently than that. So uh, you're going to go through the math yourself. I won't show you how to do the math, but you're going to get uh, two readings. Um, you're going to have a voltage source and you're going to have an additional resistor connected in series. And so what uh, you're going to calculate the values of V and R omega. So we're going to treat our power supply as the voltage source inside the ohm meter. And uh, then we're going to have, we have two variable resistors. One we will adjust for the uh, current value and then the other is set to the value of R omega, which you're going to calculate. Now, if you look at the tables in your uh, lab write-up, the first is theoretical values. You're going to um, figure out, you know, using the scale on the galvanometer, what the corresponding current values should be, again, using the full scale deflection, and then get theoretical values for the resistance. And then we're going to actually do that and get measured values of the resistance. So uh, the first thing we are going to do is when we have this set up is that we are going to adjust the um, uh, power supply so that it reads the voltage V that you're calculating. And if it's done right, if it's done right, you should be right at full scale, which you are, so that's good. I've got a little bit tilted so as to um, uh, eliminate some sources of error or to minimize some sources of error as far as the tilt on the galvanometer. And maybe you noticed that, maybe you didn't, but that's definitely something to talk about in the error analysis. So we're going to, so that reads full scale when the resistance that you're measuring is zero, which it is right now, but now we're going to adjust that. So we want to adjust uh, till we get to 0.8 deflection. So let's start with one kilo ohm. And so you see it's wobbling, but it's not quite at one kilo ohm. So let's add 100 ohms, and that's still not there. So let's go to 1,200 ohms. And that, if anything, is a bit too much. So let's get back to this. Let's try 50. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to go with a reading of 1,150 for a uh, 0.8 deflection. And so you're going to compare that to your theoretical value. So if you have the right value for the voltage and the right value for R omega, you should be able to figure out um, what, uh, you know, what resistance should correspond to a 0.8 deflection. And estimate the uncertainty. You know, how broad a range do you think you can adjust this by and get something that looks like a 0.8 deflection. So now we're going to move on to 0.6. So let's add another 1,000 ohms. And you see that's not nearly enough. So we'll add, we'll make that 3,000, and that's too much. So let's go to 2,500. So we're 2,500 ohms, and we need more than that. So 26 still a bit more, 27. So 27 is more or less right on that. So we're going to go with 2,700 ohms. So that's for 0 0.6 times full scale deflection. So again, you're going to compare that to your theoretical value. So now we're going to go to 0 0.5 and remember what it should be in theory. And let's see if we get something close to that. They, you know, that it scales so that it should read 4 kilo ohms um, at uh, half deflection. Oh, so so this is three thousand seven hundred. Uh, 
and we're almost there, but not quite. So 3,800, still a hair much. 3,900. That looks pretty good, actually. So we're gonna go with 3,900. And so that's for 0.5 full scale deflection. So now let's, let's see if 4,000 does even better. Yeah, 4,000 does even better. And that's what it's supposed to be. It's right on the line, maybe a little bit off, uh, but again, you try to get a sense of how much uncertainty there is in the measurement. And keep in mind, I'm working in increments of 100 and 1,000 right now. So that's 0.5. Let's move on to 0.4. So we'll bump this up to 5,000. And that's not enough. 6,000. That's pretty good. I think we're going to go with that. So 6,000 ohms at 0.4. And then we'll end at point two. So 7,000 is not enough. 8,000 is not enough. 9,000 is not enough. So let's go to 10,000, that's still not enough. 20,000 is too much. So 10,000, and you see there's a little bit of wobble. 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, still a little too much. 15,000, maybe try one more. Yes, yeah, 16,000 looks good that we've got it lined up with that. So those are your five measurements. And again, you're gonna figure out the theoretical values and see how well they agree with each other. But try to get a sense of what you think the uncertainty in those measurements is. So like if I played around with the variable resistor, how much of a change would I need to put in to get a noticeable deflection on the scale? And so that, I, I want you to think about that a little bit and then see if you're getting values that agree with those uncertainties. And so that's all you need for this experiment. And uh, so as usual, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me and I will see you soon.